What it is, what it do, cyber world. It is your girl, the one, the only, Ash Said It. Ash Said It dot com, Ash Said It dot com. Welcome to the Ash Said It daily podcast show. I appreciate you guys for all of your love and support. Over 1,500 episodes. We we right on the, 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 the cusp of 1,600 shows and half a million streams worldwide. None of this would be possible without you guys, so I thank you so, so very much. And yes, we are still living a bit of a pandemic life. So that means we got to put some good energies out there, some good positive vibrations, you know. We got to get that trending. So today, we are fortunate enough to have with us award-winning diversity, equality, and inclusion strategist, international inspirational speaker, the one and only Miss Kimberly S. Reed. <laughs> Hello, Miss Kimberly S. Reed. Hey, hey, Ash. How are you doing? I and you forgot, and Ash, you forgot, you forgot my new title. I have a oh, new title now. Yes, you do, Arthur, Arthur darling. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Could not forget that. Yes, the new book we're going to talk about today: Optimists Always Win, and that is the th- that is my theme for 2021. That is the theme. Anything, okay. That's it. Love it. Optimists Love always it. win because anything negative got to go. <laughs> That's right. That is that is right. It is out of here. Yes. Like twenty twenty. Oh, okay. Goodness. Just like twenty twenty. Yes. Yes. So, so Kimberly, <laughs> tell us what part of the country are you holding down right now? I'm holding down. Philadelphia region so I live in Cherry Hill New Jersey but it's Philadelphia region so I'm in the we're in the northeast ish but my hometown I got a rep is you know I'm from New England so Boston and Connecticut yes Mm. yes but I call I call Philadelphia region my home because I've been (laughs) here for a very long time a lot of great friends and a lot of fantastic memories things that I can talk about and some that I can't (laughs) <laughs> okay. All right. All right now. Okay. So, all right. So, Kimberly, we're gonna go. We're gonna go back to the, you know, to the past a little bit. We're gonna go through your history some. What was your ideal career when you were a kid? What did you want to be? <laughs> so that's so funny. So, I initially to make my parents proud and mm-hmm. happy, I want. I said I wanted to be a pediatrician, but um. girl, I, I was terrible in science. I didn't. Please, I no. I'm a talker. I'm a talker. I love people. So then I, you know, I got myself together and I decided that I wanted to be Gail King because mm. Gail King was an anchor woman in Glastonbury, Connecticut, where I and I lived in Connecticut. Mm. So I would see her every night on the six o'clock news, and I said, you know what? That's who I want to be. Mm. And so I majored. At first, in communication. So I always wanted to be her, then Oprah, right? Everything to do with people. (laughs) But I landed on diversity, equality, and inclusion, and I couldn't be more happier Mm. with my life, with my professional career, um, and what God allows me to do every day. Mm. I couldn't be more happier. Did you ever think that? Yeah, I was. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. (laughs) No, no. No, I was going to say, did you ever think that you would write a book? (laughs) <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not at all. And it's funny because, you know, you know, friends and people who know your story, right? They think, right. oh my gosh, you've got to write a book. You've got to write a book. <clears throat> my uh, brand manager and my PR people, oh, Kim, you know, in, in my day job, with, which mm. is Redevelopment Group, the diversity, social justice, et cetera, says, Kim, you, you know, you've got to write a book. And I'm, and I'm saying to myself, when do I have time to write a book? One, mm. what are my people are, people are, not going to care about my my story. Everyone goes through hardships and challenges mm-hmm. and triumphs. That's the way of the world. But you know, yeah. So, so to answer your question, yes, mm-hmm. people. I, I I didn't think I would, but everyone else thought I would. Everybody else did. Wow. If you could pick out one particular event of your professional career, what would you say was the most challenging thing that you had to deal with? racism Mm. and you know i think especially right now right we're in a we're in a a nation this remake nation i like to call it Mm -hmm. where adversity has breeded this solidarity 
right? right. Adversity breeds solidarity. And although that we have been living, specifically African Americans, and there's other races that have been affected as well, but I'm speaking as an African American woman, right. that African Americans, we have dealt with this for over 400 years, mm. right? Mm. What it, it, you know, George Floyd just ignited mm. generational trauma that was already there in pain. Yeah. It, it, it just reignited it, brought it back to the surface. Yeah. So I, I say that backdrop, Ash, because for me, I can deal with pretty much anything right. in professional life or in life, period. I, I, my parents have really taught me and, and laid a great foundation for me, and I, I, I'm not afraid of anything. Right. But what I had to deal with in my 20s and mm. 30s as I climbed that corporate ladder mm -hmm. was racism yeah. and racism from black women. Yes. That's not talked about a lot, but yes. Right? So you say, how can someone be racist who's the same color as you? <laughs> Easy. <laughs> we are, and unfortunately, not all black women, I'm not no. saying that, but some, no. we're, we are notorious when we have an agenda of success. And we oftentimes do not reach back and we sabotage other black women. So yeah. it, hit, it hit me from both sides, from mm. people that didn't look like me and people that did look like me. Mm. So I had, to, I had to toughen up my skin very early on in my professional life. No mm. question about it. How did, you, how did you cope with that? As, as you know, rising above versus seeping to their level and, you know, and dealing with these different occurrences. Well, you know, I will tell you this, and it's funny because I, I talk about this in the book. I have 10 discouragement eliminators. Mm. And one of the eliminated, one of the discouragement discouragement eliminators is have gratitude. Mm. And here's why I'm going to pivot to this because I've always been grateful for where God has me or had me in my career, right? Because right. that was early on in my career, my corporate career. I made a lot of money. I met wonderful people. I work with some of the brightest people on this side of heaven. But one of the things about gratitude and my gratefulness for being where I was back then and now, but right. specifically back then, because that's what you asked, yeah. is that gratitude is the rocket fuel to our resilience. Mm. There's no way that I could have been as resilient as mm. I was right. without gratitude mm. and without knowing who I am. Absolutely. Very important. Yeah. Very important. And so I think the other thing, the other piece to that, Ash, is unlocking your yes. Mm. And that's another discouragement. That's another um, discouragement eliminator yeah. is unlocking your yes. And what is yes? You empower self. Mm. Sometimes, Ash, you've got to push through. Yeah, you have to. You have to. There's going to be people. There's going to be people in our lives. And, you know, we're talking about our careers right now. Yeah. But people, I always tell my mentees, you cannot leave a job because of a person. No. You can't give that person that kind of power. Absolutely not. You cannot leave a job because of power. You have to unlock your own yes yeah. first. Yes. And then decide if you are going to stay or not. Because what's going to happen is when you go to the next job, guess what? You're going to have another person like the one mm -hmm. you left, but it's going to be now 2.0. Mm -hmm. Now what are you going to do? <laughs> you said right? it. Yeah. So absolutely. you can't avoid. You, you, so, you, it's like avoiding your kryptonite, right? It's something <laughs> else I talk about in the book. Right. Mm -hmm. So people have to do it's just not people buying the book. It's, it's things that I've lived, right? right? Every one of these discouragement eliminators I've lived. Right. Avoid your kryptonite. And people are kryptonite. Mm -hmm. We are all, our own kryptonite, right? So right. it is how you navigate and move through life is going to mm -hmm. determine your resilience, your success, and your fortitude, right? Mm -hmm. All synonyms, all the same words, but... But that's, you know, in the same word family, but that, that's what this is about. Mm, absolutely. Absolutely. 
So ultimately, what do you want readers to get from this new book? That the lessons in 2020 are our greatest <laughs> blessings. Oh, I say it. <laughs> and, and there is power in our survival because Absolutely. we, if you are listening to this great show, right, mm-hmm. and I listen to your shows, Aww, we have you. survived, right? Yes. And, 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 let me, and let me say what I mean by survived, Ash, because there are people that are listening that I'm sure that say, you know what, I lost my job, yeah. so how am I surviving? I don't have any food in my refrigerator for my children and I. How am I surviving? Mm. Right. So what I am saying is that if you can hear us speaking, Mm. if you are breathing, and yes, you are challenged right now in your life, Mm. but you have still survived Mm. because you are standing. And that gives you the ability to make it happen. Mm. It's just, gonna, it's just going to be, it's just not going to be as easy as it used to be. Right. We are in a global pandemic. Mm. And yes, the clock turned to 12 mm. and it is 2021. <laughs> and we cannot live in that time. No. We, 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 we can't do that. Right. Mm-mm. But, but what you have to do in one of the other eliminators that I want people to, the last one, and which is my favorite, well, it's not the last one, but it's one of my favorites. And I, I'll, I'll say this, is the power of your rear view. Mm. Yeah. I want, Ash, everybody who's listening, close your eyes for one moment. Mm. And I want you to think back to what you've been through mm. before 2020. Mm. Because I know 2020 is not my hardest year. 20, no, no, it wasn't. 2012, <laughs> right? 2012 was hardest for me because my 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 right heart valve, my mother, mm. died after 45 days in the hospital battling leukemia. Mm. So I see what I survived, what I thought I wasn't ever yeah. going to come out of. Yeah. One of the reasons why I wrote this book. Mm. It is a powerful way to reframe the present moment because you've everybody has hit rock bottom. Yeah. But if you don't reframe the present moment, you will not survive. That is why the power of your rear view is critical. Mm. And that's what I talk about in the book. Absolutely. Yeah, that, whoo, girl, yeah, 2020 was not my worst year. My worst year was a year after yours, 2013, for me. And Mm. um, I went off to basic boot camp December 30th, 2013. Mm -hmm. And December 31st, Mm -hmm. my mom passed. And mm. that was that was one of the hardest. Th- I I I don't even know how I survived 2014. That wasn't nothing but God. <laughs> that wasn't nothing that's but it, God because it. it wasn't me. If it that's was for it. me, I would have been curled up in a corner somewhere. Y'all yeah, probably wouldn't even be able to oh, find me. I, I ain't gonna lie. I say that all the time. <laughs> I say that all the time because if God did not was not Mm-mm. kind enough and yeah. gracious enough in His sovereignty mm. to restore me, yeah. Yeah. Then I would be right, you and I would be yeah. right next to each other that's in it. the corner, both oh, yeah. up. Oh, yeah, just, just go ahead, just lock me up somewhere. Because it just, my mother was my best friend. That was my number, yes. that was my number one right there. That Nobody else in this yes. world ever had my back like my mother. And, that's right. I mean, throughout, you know, I've, a lot of people know that I've got a background with media. I did a little modeling, I did a little acting stuff. Every photo shoot, every video shoot, my right hand was right there. Root me on. All right. Okay. At no. Use this other dress. Okay. I don't like the way your makeup looks. You know. So it yeah. was. It was really heartbreaking the first time I did a photo shoot without her. And um, you know, we had to come. I had to come to this place of understanding that things will never be the same. Um, and it doesn't change my love for her, and it doesn't change her watching over me daily. But um, mm-hmm. you absolutely have to uh, take those situations for what they are. Um, you can't wallow in it. I spent a mm-hmm. lot of 2014 just confused and just doing the wrong mm-hmm. stuff with mm-hmm. the wrong company, with the wrong folks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. And um, But mm-hmm. God woke me up one day, girl, and said, no, you need to start this company. Ash said it. That's where you need to be at. That's where your focus needs to be mm-hmm. on. And mm-hmm. this podcast came from that. <laughs> so um I'm I'm always grateful for everyone who downloads the show. That's why I always I, I open the show, I end the show with just gratefulness because I know that 
there are millions of podcast shows all around the world from all kinds of people. And the fact that people stop and they download my show, that means so much to me, just as, as a whole, as a person. And um, I will never not be grateful for someone downloading and listening and taking five, ten. Well, this show probably going to be a little over 15 minutes, but that's okay. <laughs> the show it's my show so it's gonna be 15 minutes it's gonna be 15 minutes but um <laughs> right. Here you go. Power. Right. but you know but you just said something ash that i also say that i also say yeah is that life changes yeah when our faith in the future mm. is stronger than our fear of the past mm. i like that right so like you, you, that. your life pivots your life pivot, right? When our faith, right? Because you, you, a lot of us have lost our faith in 2020. Yeah. A lot of us have lost hope. Yeah. Right. In, in a lot of things, oh, but yeah. it is very important that we understand that we practicing gratitude. Yes. In addition to having faith at the speed of light. Yeah. The power of your rear view. Mm. Unlocking your yes. Yes. And when the readers read the last eliminator, I want them to feel free because they're going to take the elevator to the executive level of mm. their lives. All right. All right. Yeah. That sounds I can't like wait that. for people to read this book. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait yes. for people to read this book because this is really uh, this is really me. Yes. Um, pouring into what I've learned about me yeah. um, over the last, you know, over the last eight years. Absolutely. And who knew we were going to be in a global pandemic when I wrote this book? I didn't know. <laughs> you had no idea. Right? No mm-hmm. idea. None. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm just asking people to realize that you can power through mm-hmm. and it's time to make a pivot in 2021. Mm-hmm. It's going to take a mental shift, mm-hmm. and we've taken our hits. Oh yeah, but we've got to get up and walk boldly. Yeah, keep pushing to the person, to the amazing people that we are becoming. Yes, absolutely. Kimberly S. Reed, Miss Lady, thank you so much for blessing us with your presence today, with your energy. I love it. I love it when I just I get I get a guest like you that just like we just it just works it just clicks it's perfect ah! I love it. And you are doing amazing <laughs> things, my dear. No, you oh. are doing amazing things. You, I thank you, thank you for having me, and I mean this. Thank yeah, you for having me. No. Thank you for your light. Thank oh, you for your thank light, you. and thank you for inspiring all of us to go from ex- incredible to extraordinary. Absolutely. I feel it in your voice. I feel it in your spirit, oh. and I thank you. Well, no question you. about it. May I tell people where they can buy the book? <laughs> yes, tell them where they can buy the book and where they can follow you on social media. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and so, if, and also, too, if I was, we were in the same studio, I would give you a hug right Aww. now after I said that because I meant every word, my dear, yeah. every Aww. single word. Thank you. Every word. So the, 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 <laughs> the book is Optimus Always Win, and you can find me on social. I'm easy. Oh, with something. Kimberly, <laughs> S as in save, read, R-E-E-D. So it's at Kimberly, S as in save, read, R-E-E-D. You can go to Amazon, purchase the book. Um, and, you know, I hope that you enjoy it. All of the proceeds of the book are going to charity, to cancer research. Yes. So every book we buy, we're going to bless mm. someone else. So That's thank a blessing. you. Absolutely. Much more success to you, sister. In the rest of 2020 and beyond, of course, we're claiming that. Um, I yes. definitely, absolutely would love to have you back when there's a next project. I know there's, you know, you got some stuff on the, the, the stove cooking right now. We can't talk about it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, when, when you got something out, you know, when, it, when it's ready, I, I definitely want you to come back and share with us and, and chop it up with us for some more. And, um, you know, just keep yes. doing what you're doing, putting out that good energy, good vibrations. You're also doing really good, really great work that people need, you know, and I, and I love it when people like yourself, when you're, you're vulnerable enough to, to share some of your story, to let it, you know, be known for people that are maybe going through different things right now and hearing something of what you went through could help someone else. So I applaud you, my sister, Absolutely. for that. So keep pushing out good 
energy, good vibrations. And as always, I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you so, so, so very much for all of your love, all of your support. It makes a huge difference. Keep in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, you look them square in the face, you tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.